Hello world, Bettina Carey here, and I'm broadcasting live from It's a Small World After All, and we're all in this together. And today I'm having a conversation with Brenda Reese, forgiveness coach and CEO of Brenda, Brenda Reese Coaching. And through her five-step radical forgiveness process, Brenda guides women and entrepreneurs to become more aware of unconscious behaviors and patterns that are sabotaging their relationships and businesses so that they can achieve what they really want. It's all about what women want. She's the author of Forgive Yourself and Journey to Heart Space. Brenda, welcome to today's show. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, Bettina, it's so good to be here with you. I'm, I'm really glad we did this. So you're going to be one of our upcoming speakers at the Women's Empowerment Summit, and I want folks to really get a chance to know you a little bit better. Tell people about yourself, and then let's dive in about what you were going to be covering at the Women's Empowerment Summit, which is scheduled later in June um, on the 10th. Um, so go ahead and give us a little glimmer into your little heart and soul. Oh, thank you. A little glimmer <laughs> into my heart. Well, forgiveness is a big part of my heart. And I didn't realize that I was living a life that really needed forgiveness. I didn't know I needed forgiveness. And it was after my last divorce, right? I'd been married three times and going through the divorce thinking, you know, oh my gosh, here I go again. And it was a beautiful way to find out, you know, that there's mm -hmm. these patterns and beliefs that were, that were really sabotaging my life. And I was learning from them when I, when I started to, when I looked at it that way, I learned mm -hmm. how to shift my perception around it. And that's what's really helped to change my life and be able to get into my heart because I was protecting my heart. I was, I was really not wanting to get hurt again, right? And so it's really important I feel for me and for others to really learn about these patterns and behaviors so that we can really declutter our heart. What we talk about doing that so that we have more space for more creativity for like these creating these summits that you're creating and being able to be out there in the world. And so that's why I love what I do and I love to share it with others. Well, I'm, um, I've been a participant. I've also been a helper at one of your events and I had lots of things that I didn't really know that I had inside of me to forgive. So first of all, thank you for giving me that opportunity. It was really wonderful. Uh, what can women um, hope to get out of your session that you're going to be uh, providing at the summit? So what they can hope to get out of this session is to be able to have an idea so what I want to do is share a little bit about, gosh, resentments and, and what are those costs? What is it costing us? Because we don't realize what mm. that cost is for us. Because with, res with women, right, we hold mm. resentment and we hold guilt. Yep. Right. And we try to stuff it down and we try to go on. But what it does is it builds up like dust in our corners, right? The little dust bunnies, as I call it. And so when we're able to identify those, and then being able to, to figure out a way to embrace it and love those parts of us so that we can release it, that is amazing. And that's what I'm mm -hmm. hoping that women can get out of this session, to be able to identify it and to be able to look at it differently so that they can choose them because forgiveness is a choice. Right, and right. it's a, yeah, and it's learning that I have a choice and I can learn how to let go and I can, then I can really be joyful or peaceful in my life. And that's what I'm hoping that women will get out of this session. Yes, that's really wonderful. So I love the concept of decluttering your heart. So share with me, how did you come up with that? And what does that really mean? Well, so I'm going through this phase of decluttering, right? So what I've done is, is as a very visual person and also as a way of protection for myself, I, I make piles of things. I have little clutter, right? I, I've grabbed onto these things and I kind of push it aside so that I can handle these other things. And pretty soon those piles are getting bigger and bigger, as you know. And I, and I was in a group, right, that you and I shared where we were in a group together to learn how to clean out and declutter and what that means to us. And I didn't realize the heaviness of the things that I was acquiring. I did not realize how it was affecting my body yeah. and my mind and my spirit. And when I started to declutter that, I started to feel lighter and I started to feel freer. And so that's when I went, oh my gosh. And I started to be able to, when I was doing some other practices, get into my heart. Mm. And it was like, oh my gosh, I'm decluttering my heart too. 
And yeah. so that's where that came from. Yeah, it's like, great. oh my gosh, this is what, when we get in there and we clear out these things that have been holding us down, right? And we kind of, that backpack on our back, right? But it's a heavy heart because as women, this is the one thing that I've learned about women in the, in the times that I've worked with them is that we have a secret, like we give and give and give and give, right? Yeah. And we, and we want to be loved and we give so much, but we feel empty. We feel empty inside. And what I found when I was doing some Akashic record work with some women and some energetic work, I found that we have these little trap doors in our heart is what I, what I found. It. That's the visual that I got was these trap doors so that we can, we can hold those secret parts of ourselves back from, from, from people. And it's like when we build, when we have those trap doors, it's not only that we're holding other people, we're, well, we're not being able to receive, but we're not being able to really give fully. Right. So when we can finally open that trap door and, and own who we are, secrets and all, right. right? All those secrets that we have as women, like if people knew this about me, then they really wouldn't love me. When we can really open that up and feel free, oh, you know how that feels, Bettina. I watched yeah. you do that. Yeah, the lightness. I, I, I relate to the word lighter. I feel much lighter having gone through some of these um, yeah. efforts to um, clear out the clutter as it were. So um, I also recently got to experience some of the work that you were doing behind the scenes here as people are dealing with some challenging times right now. And we did these really cool exercises where we went through your guided process. So tell us a little bit about the process that you use to get someone from a, a more cluttered heart to a more cleared out heart. Well, yeah, that's where we can go through the stages, right? Where we can go through a process where we're guided, where, where we can go through these stages where we identify what the situation is and what's, where, what, what's happening right now is what we look at. We don't dwell too much in the past, but mm -hmm. we can look at what's happening right now because that's really what's important. And this is where the gold nuggets are, is what's happening right now. And then what we can do is then we do get to feel the feelings about it, right? <laughs> We do because it's really yeah. important, especially as women, because what, what happens to us, it shows up as migraines, it shows up as dis-ease in our bodies, right? When we are, when we're doing that. And that's what happened to me. Right. I ended up with surgeries that, you know, at a young age was because I was holding on to so many things that I didn't really, well, that obviously I felt I needed to hold on to, but which caused me some, some issues. And so, and then when we do that, and then we go through then where we reframe things, where we can look at it. And this is where we get to connect to our heart. And yeah. this is what we were going through is where we do some breathing techniques and we used to do some other techniques to where we can actually know who we are from our heart and not from our head, because yeah. that's where we go for safety, right? Yeah. And I think I getting help? in touch with the heart is probably the most important um, aspect of being on the planet, right? So when we are uh, our authentic and true selves, yeah. we love ourselves deeply and we're able to give freely as opposed to giving with expectation and, um, you know, leading in with all the guilt and all of the resentments that can build up. So I'm really excited to have you at the summit. And so how can people get a hold of you in the meantime and, uh, Tell us a little bit about your book and where they can get your book too. Yeah, great. Thank you. Books, uh, I should say. Yes, books. So yeah, you can uh, check out my website, Brenda Reese, R-E-I-S-S coaching.com. And I'm also on Facebook, Brenda Reese dash coach. And then also Instagram is forgiveness coach, all one word. And the books, Forgive Yourself um, and Journey to Your Heart Space, which is a mandala book. It's an 11 step process to guide yourself through forgiveness, which is, uh, I'm just really excited about it. And those are both on Amazon. Um, if you look that up and the author is Brenda Reese, R-E-I-S-S. -S. That's fantastic. Um, I'm really looking forward to having you at the Women's Empowerment Summit. I'm Bettina Carey and I'm founder of Women in Small Biz Shows and Events. And what I do is big dream big, break through, and connect with powerful women. I'm inviting you to the Women's Empowerment Summit, June 10. Don't miss it. Go to uh, www.womensempowermentsummit.com, or you can text us at 555-888 and simply type in the comments, 
women. And we will be sure to add you to the mailing list. Thank you, Brenda, so much for joining us here today. It's a small world after all. We're all in this together. Be sure to take care of one another. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.